<laughs> Hi guys, it's me. It's Indiana Jones. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I don't usually look like this. It's just, it's wig week. I decided to make it wig week. Why not? So we're not all wigging out. And I just happen to have as many wigs as Moira Rose from Schitt's Creek. So how are you all doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're all safe. I hope you have what you need, that you're, you're, you have your basic provisions and that you're safe and healthy. Um, excuse me, gotta, gotta fix my wig. And um, just if this is the first time at my channel, thank you so much for coming in. It's a little bit wacky because I do do crafting. I do do, I do do, I do do. <laughs> I do some crafting and I haven't done cooking. I gotta do some cooking. And um, I usually dress up as characters, but with this whole situation going on, I am filming myself live because I don't have time to edit, even though now I do have time to edit, but I don't like editing. I know, it's terrible. Hi, Jack, how are you doing? How is everything going? Let's, let's add a co-host here. This is my co-host. He's a lovely young man. Mr. Jackson Slaughter, I'm just adding, here you go. So if you want to join me live, you can join me by clicking that little invite there. I can invite up to four or five people, but I do, I do stop the invitations once I get started with the crafting. So I'm glad to hear you're doing great. How, what do you think of the wig, Jack? What do you think of the wig? Hey, a procrastinator's life. How are you doing? <laughs> you just want to chat. Okay, fine. Love the curls. Hey, Kay. I do too. I like it. I have this wig. So I'm like, this is wig week. It's wig week. So I'm wearing all the wigs I have. And what am I doing? So this is what, this was the tray I did yesterday. I don't know if you were there yesterday. You were. I was having some issues. I repainted it. I re-stenciled it. And voila, there it is. You just want to chat. Okay, cool. So let's get started. Even though, you know, how is everything going, Kay? You doing good? Doing well? Doing well. I should use my proper English. And I'm having some orange lemon tea. And I'm happy to say that I finally ventured out. I had not left my house. Jack, I can't believe you said that. Goodness. Old enough to be your mother, child. Anyway, I finally ventured out. I hadn't left the house in, what, five weeks, six weeks? I had not left the house. So I finally decided, you know where it's going to be safe is I live close to um, farmland here in Miami. Believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, I have to catch your videos. Ah, oh, yeah. I know I'm on furlough this week, so I'm taking advantage of crafting. I'm, I, I'm, I mean, I'm crafting regardless, even before I was on furlough, but this week I'm on furlough. So I did sew a new um, cover for my rocking chair. So I reupholstered a rocking chair. I got you live and I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry, sweetie. It's okay. I'm just kidding with you. I'm just having fun. And um, so what was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about. So yeah, I've been crafting live every night. So I decided I love Mod Podge. It's just so easy for me. It's so relaxing. And I had this teacup. I had this teacup that a friend of mine gave me. And it's like, I happen to have these same teacups. They're from Japan. And I, she gave me two. So I said, you know what? I'm going to keep one because I like to collect teacups. But I wanted to have fun with the other one. So what I did with the other one was I painted it. Color did I paint it? I painted it this wonderful, it's called Spring Green from Apple Barrel, the plaid product family, Apple Barrel. You know that I love to wear wigs too. Really? I didn't know that. Um, so I decided to paint it first. And this is gloss, so it still has that sheen. I don't know if you can see that it is glossy. It did take a couple of, first. the first coat I actually did with a little bit of baking soda. Baking powder, baking soda, baking soda just so it would stick. And then I sanded it down and then I added the gloss again and it stuck. So after like two coats, 
I mean, and it looks, it looks, you can see the splotches, but that's fine because I'm gonna like, I'm gonna mod podge it anyway. So what am I using? I am using a napkin because I figure it's more malleable than any other kind of paper if you have tissue or a napkin. And I love this print. I am in love with this print because it's so springy and so feminine. So first I'm gonna do the bottom plate. And the bottom plate, hold on. I'm gonna to try to take off the two layers. I can never separate the two layers. Da, 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 da. Maybe today I can. Maybe today will be the day, but I can never seem to do it. And this is two ply, I know it is. I know it is. It doesn't wanna come apart. Okay, fine, and it says California Ren. So I'm just gonna put that here. And I'm gonna Mod Podge it with Glossy Luster Mod Podge. Oh, cool! Congratulations, that sounds very cool, Jack. Good luck to you. When is that audition? I will pray for you. So I'm just adding some Mod Podge all over the plate. Might as well go all over the plate, because it's a sealant anyway. It's, hey, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't sneeze. <laughs> right, isn't that just so cool? I love wearing this. I gotta go out in the in public wearing this one. Um, so because it's a sealant anyway, it's gonna be all luster, lusterific. I'm just gonna mod podge the whole plate. So we're making teacups. We're making teacups, and since I can't paint, I'm just like, you know, paint, paint, like real paint, like, you know, how people like paint teacups. I am going to just add some, I wish I could take it apart. And I'm just gonna rip the sides here because I don't want it to be square, just like that. I just want a little bit of a design at the bottom. <gasps> Maybe it's coming apart. Maybe it's coming apart. Maybe like this, it'll come apart and I could just use the one ply make it more elegant, but it's not. It's being difficult. Wait, wait. Oh, and the angels sing. Finally, because that way it looks, see, I don't know. I know it has a crease there, we'll get rid of the crease. Look how, look how easy that was. See, it looks like it's painted. When it's only one ply, it looks like it is part of I know this is going to be under the, the, the teacup. You're not going to see it that well, but don't worry about the wrinkles. Just, just keep. There you go. And I'm going to put this little birdie right here. Right there. So when you lift your cup, you see the little bird, and then you can see the little turtle. Like that. That's a little bird's beak. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, that sneeze came out of nowhere. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. A lot of Mod Podge, but that's okay. I want to seal that in. Oh, I should have tried to take off this second layer. Oh, well. But see how perfect I got the green to match? Did you see the tray, Leah? Do you like the tray, how it came out? I repainted it. Yes, I did. I retouched it up and repainted it because I didn't like the way the stencil came out. Oh, I see. Oh, this color? Spring green. Spring green. All right. Got a lot of this mock Podge stuff. Now, I'm going to... So this is, this is the front. I hold my teacups wrong, I guess. I don't know. So I guess this is the front. I guess that's the front. So let's put some of this leftover Mod Podge right on the, right on here. I know, I didn't think you could Mod Podge teacups, but I guess you can. I've never done this before. As much as I love Mod Podge and teacups, I'm doing my two favorite things, Mod Podge and teacups and you. I will catch a replay. Okay, go ahead, no problem. Take care. Take care, okay? Thanks for coming by. All right, let's see. Now we're gonna put this birdie right there. 
Let's put some flowers. Yeah, we'll put it here. We'll put some flowers. We'll put some flowers. I know this this green is so perfect with this napkin. That's why I keep using this green and this napkin because they are perfect together. And then I have some flowers here. Let's add some flowers right there. I don't know, right there. I'm terrible. I'm using I'm using the bottom saucer is my that's fine. Let's do this. Let's see. I just want to make it look like he's on a branch or something, because if not, it looks weird. There we go. That's not the original branch he was on, but it works. It works. Nobody has to know the truth. Just you and me, the team. some Mod Podge underneath, sorry. And again, I'm not gonna use this to drink tea out of. I'm loving blues and green. I know, me too, I love blue and green. Blue and greens have always been my color. I love, 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 love. Actually, I can open this like that, put this aside. I lo I've always loved, my room is like a very pale, mint green it's like a french light french green i can use this in my actually i was thinking of putting flowers inside of here i would not use this to consume anything or serve anything just simply for let's make this what you have to make sure of is you do like like if there's a branch just continue the branch so it doesn't look like, oh, look, flowers just sprung out of nowhere. No, you got to continue it so it makes sense. Because if not, it's just going to be like, what? At least that will, that would bother me, you know? So I'm just making some brambles and some branches. I like that so far. And I know it looks messy now, but we all know it dries clear. I just want to get rid of the little signature there. There we go. And then I have like the little letter. There's like a little letter, so we can put a little letter here on the side. Just, just, just like that. I'm sorry, I'm just quiet while I, I love decoupaging. I'm sorry, I've been decoupaging and stenciling a lot. That's what I like to do. It's easy for me, I don't have to think too much. Leah, I loved your, I have to show you, I have a um, trim that I found on the side of the road and it's wood trim and it's at an angle, it's at a 45 degree angle. And I was like, oh, this is perfect to make a lantern. And then you'll lo and behold, I see you do your lantern today. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll hold off a day or two. So we're not like interrupting each other or something. I don't know. There we go. There's the letter. And then I'm going to add, I wish I could take this apart. I wish this would come apart so it would look, I don't know, more painted like. Here we go. Aha. There we go. There we go. Because and then it looks better if you're layering to use one ply instead of two ply. And I'm trying to layer. There we go. And once this is done, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that is so cute because it looks like it's painted, but it's not. And it's just gonna be in my cupboard and maybe it's just gonna be in my cupboard back there. And maybe it's just going to be you know, like filled with flowers or what have you. Or I might put my jewelry in here. I put this on my dresser. There we go. It's wrinkled. It's okay. It's all right. It looks beautiful. I think. I think it looks 
quite nifty. It's, if you rip the, the stuff, it comes off. The, the second layer comes off. The two ply comes apart. So you have learned something with me, my children. Rip it. Somebody is singing outside. Do I want that there? Hmm. Where do I want this? I'll put it here on the on the saucer. Put it on the saucer. Saucer needs a bit more sauciness to it. Junker now, I would love to see you make a lantern. I've been wanting a large. I know me too. I've been wanting to do. God bless America. Just curious. How many pair of glasses do you have? Okay, so these, these are my reading glasses. I had to buy new reading glasses and I found them on Amazon. And this is what I got myself for my birthday because everybody sent me money. And I'm like, well, hey, let me spend a little bit of my money. I saved a lot of it, thank God. But I said, yeah, let me see. So I think it was a pair, it was five pair for $10 with a little sleeve. And I got it within like three or four days because I needed, you guys saw how blind I was. I couldn't like see anymore. I was like, okay, I need to up, up the prescription there. So that's what I did. I upped the prescription. And yeah. But, I, you know, all of mine are usually from the dollar store. I like the funky glasses from the dollar store. Yeah, I have to make a, the large. I've been wanting a large lantern also, but they're so expensive. Does anybody here watch Traditions by the Seasons? Liz by Traditions by the Seasons or Jody at Southern Tradi Southern Seasons or something? I don't know. The two of them have like, well, Liz especially. Have you seen that woman? Leah, have you seen her? Holy moly. Love watching her. But my Lord, you should see the storeroom, the warehouse. The warehouse of like stuff that she has that she uses to decorate. I love decoupage because it's easy and it always looks good, pretty much. And I got a new stencil today too in the mail that I had ordered a while back. Don't worry, I disinfected it, but it's a Harlequin stencil. So I want to, I want to make pretend and make. I was so close to painting that again and say, oh, let's do Harlequin on it. Black and white and like red. All right. So this is going to seal and hopefully <clears throat> it'll look better. And then what I wanted to add to this, let's see how much time do we have? Oh, it's only been 18 minutes. Good. You watch both. Oh, but don't you love her warehouse in her basement? I could like literally I could live down there. Her basement is bigger than my whole house. Okay. Okay. So now, I mean, it wouldn't be a teacup or a tea set without a little gold. Well, I got some gold here, some antique gold. I got the brush. Actually, do I like the antique gold or do I like, I like the rose gold. I like the rose gold. But I love watching Liz by tradition. She's given me so many ideas. I am sorry. What I'm doing is out of out of camera range. There we go. So I'm going to use this brushed metal by Folk Art. Because it's from where? From the Plaid Products. Thank you, Plaid. I have all the paints I will ever need because of Plaid. And they're probably watching me and I say, what have we done? Crazy woman who changes her hair every day. I had to put barrettes in here because I, the hair was all over me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm enough. Because usually when you see a teacup, they have a rim and then they have like gold gilded edges and stuff. So I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to do it. In, oh, I like the rose gold with the green. The style seat. Do you need to get closer? Come closer. So this is a rose gold. I like this. And you know what else I have? 
Okay, so see, these are the weird things that happen to me. So I, one time I was at an antique shop and I was looking at like teacups and I was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's like, what do you do with like teacups that break? And she goes, oh, I have them in a box. You want them? And I'm like, yeah. So I have like broken teacups. I have like a little bag of broken teacups. I don't know what to do with them. I know you can make necklaces and stuff, but I have not done that yet. I'm going to paint the inside too, because the inside looks kind of crappy. I'm going to paint the whole little thing. I wish I had, I had these napkins and I can't find them that were white and blue and they were so beautiful. And I was thinking, wow, that would be cool to have a teacup with a white and blue motif. You know, like the Dutch kind of look. I love that. I have, I have uh, two teacups, like that. I think one teacup, stone. But I love the rose gold with the green and it's perfect. And then we're gonna go around the edges, just ever so lightly. Ever so and again, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna drink from this tea. And today's tea is orange and lemon. And I went to a little, not a farmer's market, but a little stand. Because I said, you know what? I wonder if it's safer to go to, because I have all these farms right by my house, like a stone's throw away. I went there. Oh my gosh, they had like fresh herbs. They even had Clorox and all that stuff. I never, I need better storage for my paints. I know I do. Me too. I have them in my in my coffee table, but I can't really see them that well. I have more paints in the garage. You saw how many paints I have in my coffee table? I have that same amount in my garage. And I barely ever go to my garage because I have to clean it up. And every time I go in there, I get depressed. <laughs> this is too much. So just painting the edge. I love that sound. And if it comes off, it doesn't matter because, you know, if it comes off the edge a little bit, it's fine. It's decoration. It's this is to have fun. This is just purely fun, frivolous, frivolous fun. But I love the combination of the rose gold with the green. It works perfect. So there you go. So if you get one of these like teacups that are like, meh, it's not that impressive. I wasn't that impressed. I was like, it's okay. It's all right, but it's not like, oh, ooh, that's pretty. And I said, oh, you know what? I'll make my own teacup and then say, ooh, that's pretty. That is what I am doing. So I'm doing my favorite things, painting, decoupage, and teacups. Now, I have to find out, Leah, let me know if you have any ideas. My neighbor came down and she said, I was about to throw this away and I gave it to you. So she gave me one of those huge apple juice jugs, glass apple juice jugs. I was just gonna plop it on top of my kitchen cabinets, but I was like, no, I gotta make it look fresh. I have to make it look rustic. So I don't know what to do if I should paint it with like white chalk paint or what. Any ideas or just leave it with a glass and then make it look like it's aged or something. And there you have it. Look how cute. See, makes a difference. Makes a difference just to have that. And that'll be all goldeny. And the teacup. I can't lift it. Can't lift it. There we go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's adorable. It has a little letter back here. Oh, I just smudged it. I smudged it. Hold on. It's got the little, so let's look at from here. And you got the other little birdie down there. Look how beautiful those two colors work together. The yellow, the red, the green, the rose gold. And there's a little letter. And then there's the other flowers on the other side. I think it came out nice. I have birthday money and I'm ordering crafting supplies online and a microphone for my computer. I need to do something because I don't know what's going on with my computer, with the camera. Uh, oh, I mean, it looks good when I'm filming, but and then afterwards it looks like crap. And I have wonderful cameras. I just can't go live with them because I have to buy a whole bunch of stuff to go live. And I don't want to spend like $2,000 in equipment. So there you have it, a new little teacup for my collection. And I can literally say I did it myself. And it looks like it's been hand painted and it wasn't. 
And um, yeah, I think it works well. I think it came out pretty darn cute. It didn't take a long time. And then if I wanted to, I can paint the inside too, but I like it white. I like it white. So there you have it, guys. Make your own little decoupage teacups. It works. If I, I would suggest to paint it first so the decoupage will hold on with the paint. Um, I, I have decoupaged on glass and it works, so I would assume it would work on porcelain too. But I like the background. I love the green. So thanks again, guys, for joining me one more time. Another crafting night session. Do your technique of turning the jug green like your jars. Oh, but it's a huge jug. It's like huge, like huge, like huge. It's got big jugs. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, Jack and Leah and Kay. Um, we had a small group today, but it was fun. It was fun nonetheless. Okay, so now comes the time to take it off because this wig is driving me nuts. It looks cute and all, but good night, Jack. But it is time to take it off. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so itchy. It's so itchy. And I'm wearing my little like bohemian outfits with this wig. One of these nights I'm going to be goth. Another night I'll have, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure out what I, the last two wigs are going to be. So thank you again, guys. Good night. Take care. God bless. And keep crafting. And uh, I don't know, keep positive attitude and stay creative. God bless you guys. Good night. Love you all. Bye. <laughs> How about that? Isn't that